Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. You know, it's the other brother again. I'm here today. I'm going to create uh, what I would consider a very typical dish in Jamaica. It's very fast. Uh, it requires minimal, minimal um, ingredients and uh, it, it, it is a delightful treat. Um, I think it's important that we introduce, especially our kids, to these quick fixes that is, you know, um, uh, related to our culture and um, require a little bit, if not, no skills, okay? Just some basic ingredients. Um, here we, I'm gonna make for you a um, Jamaican fritters using some salt fish that I have broken up here. Um, what you're gonna need is to boil that off uh, to uh, reduce the amount of salt that's in there. You're gonna need a bowl like this. This is a nice bowl, I should show you this. Uh, me and my wife picked this up on our honeymoon in Costa Rica and uh, we cherish these, we have two of them. I think it's beautiful, it reminds me of the, the goldie that the Rastaman use, uses in Jamaica. I'm going to want one of them one day, so eventually I'll get, get me a, a pair of them, a couple of them. Um, also, what I have going on here is uh, we're going to create, uh, we're going to steam some bok choy. I was looking for pop choy, but we can't find that here. So we have some bok choy, I already washed them in salt and rinsed them off in some fresh water. So they're just ready to be chopped up. Here, for the fritters, we need a bowl. I have some powder seasoning inside here. What I have is black pepper, just a little bit. I have a pinch of uh, uh, seasoned salt. And here is a little bit of Maggie season on the side. Also in this bowl, I have some uh, diced green pepper, some purple onion. I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme. And also here, I have uh, some scotch bonnet pepper. Um, the ingredients that I'm gonna apply to the fritters is mainly this green onion here, the scotch bonnet, along with the powder seasoning, and some thyme, okay? So we're gonna get that cracking. First, I'm gonna just chop this up small, very tiny, because you don't wanna have no big chunks in your fritters, right? I'm gonna make some little tiny cuts. And whatever is left over, I can just leave it to the side there because I'm gonna make the bok choy, like I said. I'm gonna just drop that in the bowl there. Then the scotch bonnet pepper. I have kids, so I'm not gonna put too much. I just wanna mince it up really small. Okay, really small, just for flavor. Just for flavor. This is really a mm. snack that your kids will enjoy. Just a little bit for flavor, a hint of it. Okay. Secondly, you're gonna need some all-purpose flour, which I have here. Just gonna tip. Maybe about a cup. I'm not really making a lot of it. Maybe a cup and a half then. You can leave the excess in the fridge to be used at another day. I have some salt fish here. I'm not gonna use all of it. Like I said, I'm making a small portion. It's a quick meal. So we have them chopped up very small. And the smaller the better. Right, especially if you didn't get all the salt out of it, you don't want to have big chunks of salty salt fish, right? So you're gonna just kind of just spread it out in there as you go. You could put as much of it as you want. You're the one that's gonna be eating it, so you have to determine how much of it you want in there. But for me, that's all right. I'm just gonna get my spoon here and I'm gonna just get all of that in there I don't think I want to use all the seasoning salt it's just a little bit okay I'm gonna give it a 
let it mix and in this you don't have to add any salt because remember the salt fish is already salted right it's gonna get some water and you're gonna mix that all in some people they add um, they add a uh, They add baking powder to their mix, but um, for me, I think that when you do that, it just absorbs too much of the oil, and that doesn't work for me, right? We're gonna give this a light mix, keep it going, get it all worked in. You wanna get it almost like a, a pancake mix. That's the kind of consistency that you wanna you wanna have. This is a very quick and easy meal that is gonna be very tasty, very fast, and very enjoyable. Also, you could put a little bit of a curry powder just for coloring. In this case, I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna use just the plain flour and get these bad boy uh, golden brown crispy you know what I mean because I think I might just make some avocado spread with some hard dough bread to go with it so I want it to be crunchy let's give this a light mix or maybe this is a strong mix <laughs> you get what I mean I'm gonna add a little bit more water as you can see the texture is coming but it's not quite where I want it. A little more water. Just a little bit. See that? So now all the seasoning is dispersed in there. Oh, I almost forgot an ingredient that I want to incorporate. How would I? How could I do that? All right, so you don't want to overwhelm it with the time, but you want to put a little piece in there, break it all up, because you want that flavor, right? Just going to take off a few leaves. But maybe you know this already, but I'm going to show you. This is a quick and easy way to get only the leaves off the time, okay? And then you're left with a stalk, right? So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna blend this in. You can smell that fresh thyme already in this mixture. I know it's gonna be great. So now I think we've arrived at the consistency that we're trying to get. And here you go. That's all you want in, right? All those lovely chunk of salt fish in there is just gonna pop in your mouth. Alright, so now that we have this mixed up, I'm gonna make some way now for my bok choy preparation. I've moved this to the side, you can put it in the fridge or wherever, just get it out of the way for now. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare our bok choy. I'd like to use just a half a tomato, it's a small portion, and um, I don't like to put too much tomato, especially tomato that doesn't really have a lot of flavor. The better tomato to use would be the the small tiny cherry tomatoes you have a lot more flavors in those so with this in this case i'm just going to use half of the one i have i will slice it up little chunks you can remove the seeds if you want i'm going to leave them in just for additional moisture because um the pop choy is a little bit hard so it will require more juice to cook so we will get the juice from the tomato. Just want to chop it up in little, little cubes. Like I said, this is an easy meal, quick and fast. 
something that you can have for breakfast. Nice little lunch snack, an appetizer, or whatever you like, okay? I'll just move this over here. And I'll toss my tomatoes into that container there. Now we're gonna get started in the bok choy. First you wanna just kinda get rid of some of the bigger stems. The bigger leaves you wanna give them a nice little chop like that. And we're gonna just chop it up nicely. All of that good greeny, greenery inside of there. Get rid of the stems, cut the bigger leaves. Nice and up. The reason why I'm using bok choy is because I couldn't get any pop choy. And um, pop choy has happened to be one of my favorite vegetables. Ever since I was a kid in Jamaica, I remember having a garden and I usually have quite a few of these in my, um, my little garden as a kid. I grew up in the country, man. I grew up around farming and animals and that's a love, you know, in the countryside. So I learned to do a lot of things by watching my grandma. Some of it I experiment with on my own. You know, and um, that's where my my culinary experience began. You know, just my dinner every day. So we're gonna dice these up. I'm almost done. I could have gone ahead and prep all this before, but I just wanted to give you an idea. Of, you know how I like it. And um, just so you know, everything I make in this kitchen is it's things that I share with my family. This is how I eat. I'm not just doing this to show you guys, but um, these are things that I enjoy. And I would consider this to be um, something that probably most Jamaican families would be doing as well, because we have similar culture regardless of where you come from in Jamaica. The same, same culture, or in the Caribbean, I should say. Okay, so here's my last one. And I just love the, the aroma that comes out of the pop choy. And it goes great with the fritters. It goes really good with the fritters. Okay, so now we have it all chopped up. Toss it in, in the bin here. I'm gonna get this out of the way. All right, I'm gonna get the fire going. Um, today I'm gonna be using olive oil, to be honest with you, for frying, especially uh, the fritters that I'm gonna make. It's better to use like a vegetable based oil uh, because the olive oil burns really, really hot. So it has a tendency to burn um, your food. But I'm gonna be cooking this on a very minimal Okay, so I've gone ahead and just uh, dropped a few little pieces of uh, scallion along with some thyme just to get some additional flavor out of the, these herbs for my fritters. So I don't really want to get them in it, so I'm going to move them to the side. And then I'm going to drop one of about a full spoon. Like that. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. You have to decide, right? I think I'm gonna make them a little smaller. Let me get these bad boys out of the way. They've already done their purpose, so you don't want to really 
have these. I mean, it's not a big deal if they get into their fritters, but I personally like to get them out. And then we're gonna continue with the process. So I made one, the first one was too big, I think. So I'm gonna just adjust the sizes. And you can smell all that lovely herb. I kid you not. You can just smell that beautiful aroma in the space. You know? In a little bit we're gonna turn them. I like to flip them over before they get crispy to my, my desire. I like to flip them over so they cook on both sides evenly. So very shortly I'm gonna flip them over. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. You see they start getting brown already. We just want them to cook evenly. That's why I'm going ahead and, and turn them. And because like I said, olive oil is, is an oil that burns really hot. You don't want them to, to burn, so you put it on medium heat. Okay, so I'm gonna check the other side now. Okay, good. So we start catching some color. I wanna put it back in the original position to get the other side. Golden brown. All right, the other side starts catching a lot of color already. That's because the olive oil is super hot, so I might even need to turn it on a little bit more. Mmm, that smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and check the other side. Oh, look at that, beautiful. We're getting that brown, golden color that we want. That's gonna give you the crunch. Okay, so I'm, I'm just turning the back over to the other side. Remember, we put it on one side, then we flip it over to get an even cook. But now we're getting even color, so you flip them twice, right? So another couple of seconds, and then we can get these out. We'll put them on some paper towel just to get rid of the excess, yes, excess uh, oil. I can't wait to dig in. See how beautiful these look? I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. We don't want them to burn. This one I'll probably just leave it there for a little longer. This one is done. This is a color I like. You can leave it all however longer you want in there. But this is, this is a color that I desire, so I'm going for this. You can see all that greenery you can see the herbs, you can see little pieces of the sausage sticking out. And I'm telling you, when you taste this man, it's gonna be just popping in your mouth. Okay? Go ahead and remove the last one. And we'll put another batch in there. get this pot greased up. I won't be using a lot of oil on this one. I might need a little more. A little bit more oil. Just to grease the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my uh, onions my green pepper and a little bit of escalion. I have a little bit of um, seasoned salt in the bottom. I'm just going to scrape it off once I get the bok choy inside of it. I'm going to get all this in there. And um, I'm using two different color uh, bell pepper. That's mainly for, for just uh, presentation. With a little bit of time, I'm gonna drop that in there and get the stove back on and high for now. I'm gonna add my diced tomatoes. Get that all blend in.
Look at that color. Look how beautiful that looks. Right? Bell pepper is looking so so bright. Yellow, green, purple onion, and it's smelling great. Now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add my bok choy. It's already washed and prepped for this occasion. In, in this case, this is a groom. You know how the guy dress up nice? Huh? I walk over to the groom. Same thing, man. We're marrying flavors here, okay? So now I come together and create a union, a food union. Let's give it a light stir. Get all my season mixed in the bok choy. Oops, you go back there. Okay, so we have that all blended together. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of salt, just a little pinch. Because remember, you have the salt in the salt dish already, so you don't wanna overpower it. Go ahead, go ahead and put a little bit of black pepper. Just a little pinch. And a little piece of butter. In this case, I'm gonna chop it up in little pieces. Get that in there. We're gonna give it a light stir. Get everything blended together. Wow, this smells so good. Mmm. Smells so good and it looks so good. Look at the color, man. Look at this. Look how beautiful that looks. Wow. I'm gonna put the cover on this and um, let it cook for about seven minutes. In between that, I'm gonna check it to make sure that it's getting cooked properly. There you have it. So now that we have it all cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and plate some for myself. Get rid of this little piece of thyme. Look at that lovely color. Smells so good. Wow. I've also went ahead and made some guacamole sandwiches. It's just basically hard oat bread with a little bit of guacamole on the inside. It will go great with my lunch. These are still crispy. And look at that. Well, I can't wait to dig in. I get to finally dig in, as you can see. I hope you can see this. Can't wait to taste it. I have here on the side just some water with a little piece of lemon. That's all I need because, like I said, the saltfish. Maybe I should break this so you can see what's on the inside. Look at all that, that herb and that beautiful fluffy saltfish. Mmm, you can smell the aroma. This is so good. Guys, I'm telling you, you gotta try this. It's very simple, it's very delicious, and it's very fulfilling. You should try it. Mm. The crispiness of the fritters, the flavor of the bok, the bok choy with the herbs and Everything just coming together. I'm gonna try the toast with the guacamole spread. If you want the ingredients for this one, just make a link. Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment, whatever it is. Okay? I'm out for now. I hope you like the meal we prepared for you. I hope you try it. And when you do, you tell me what you think. I look forward to hearing from you and giving your feedback. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Brad, I'm out.